Hello, hello, hello to all of my Aquariuses and happy Tuesday, Aquariuses. I hope you all are having a great day. I know you are to all of my Aquariuses. <clears throat> what do we know about our Aquariuses before we get started? Because we're going to get right into your reading, Aquarius. This is a general reading for my Aquariuses. Look, so our Aquariuses are of that air element, right? Fixed signs. Aquariuses are assertive, independent, very progressive, analytical, very original and inventive, right? You know, you all have strong dislikes and have very firm opinions. So once you get your mind set on some things, Aquarius, is, <laughs> it's kind of hard to get my Aquarius is to... Um, to feel otherwise right and your polar opposite sign is the leo if you're interested in learning about why the leo is your polar opposite sign or you just want a personal reading um after i pull these cards please contact me at 202-460-3205 that's both in the united states and outside the united states if you're outside of the united states the number is the same 202-460-3205 but you want to use the country code number one, and you also want to use WhatsApp because that's going to save you a ton of money. Okay, Aquarius, let's get into your reading. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my Aquarius as it relates to all areas of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, also in areas of money and wealth, and also in areas of spirituality and where they need to take action, also in areas of creativity and emotions. What information do we have for our Aquarius? Let's go, Aquarius. Aquarius, first of all, if you do not embody the characteristics that I shared with you, Aquarius, and I'm going to get into some more, you want to check the energies around you. The energies could be in your family, it could be your friends, it could be acquaintances, associates, or whatever, but you want to check the energies around you because Aquarius is our open-minded people. You all are humanitarians, you're very creative, you're progressive, you're original, independent, free-spirited. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to give a double dose of, on humanitarians because Aquarius is being a humanitarian. You all actually kind of like want to save the world. You want to help everybody, especially great in organizations because you all have just this creative energy that is crazy. Um, but you all are the water as the water barrier. You all are the sustainers of life. Right. So a lot of people feed off of the Aquarius. As they drink from the Aquarius as well, because or your cistern filled with water because you have something that sustains people's lives. Aquarius is know a lot of things about a lot of things, right? Very intelligent people, just like all air signs are. But you all just know a lot of things about a lot of things. And you have all these original ideas that a lot of people haven't even thought of. But your most likable trait, Aquarius, is, is that you all are friendly. Your friendliness is your most likable trait. Okay. We have the world card here. Ding. All right, so let's get we're gonna get into that in just a second. Okay, look. Oh, we also have the star card here, right? This is great. This is your card, right? So you're shining bright, shining bright. I'm thinking of shining bright like a diamond, Brianna song, shining bright like a diamond. But you all are shining bright, you shine brightest in dark spaces, right? And also, okay, first of all, Aquarius is if anything is out of alignment for you, you want to check your heart chakra. This is about getting your heart chakra back aligned because the heart chakra is really all about being connected with yourself as well as cultivating joy, self-love, and compassion, right? Who you are at the core of who you are. And, and so if you're out of alignment for any reason whatsoever, you want to meditate, some of the crystals that you may want to connect with, like I said, your heart chakra is the rose quartz, emeralds, green tourmaline, jade, green calcite, green kyanite, and peridot. Those are some other crystals. And if you're interested in essential oils, rose oil is good, geranium, neroli, um, bergamot, um, bergamot, um, lavender, um, lemon balm, um, yang yang oils, all those are some great, great oils for you to, they resonate the most. Those crystals and essential oils resonate the most for you, Aquarius. Is okay, so just want you to know this. <clears throat> oh, also a hermit card. This is another major arcana, right? So for some of you all, um, whew, we have a lot of things that's happening. We have a lot of things that's happening right now. So look, first of all, the world card is attached to, um, to Saturn, right? And so Saturn is retrograde right now. Saturn is Aquarius and Capricorn's card. So this is about freedom from fear. This is not going to go on for too much longer. This is, this is about fulfillment. This is about achievement. This is about completion, right? It's about unity, being unified with yourself. Also being rewarded for your hard work and effort, right? So no more fear. 
freedom from fear, right? A lot of you all have spent a great deal of time by yourself. This is a hermit, right? This is about, you know, you being grounded and being centered, thinking about your money, thinking about your wealth, right? And just having, and this is about freedom from fear of any of that, right? And just recognizing how powerful you are, your star quality, your star quality, which is great, right? Just really recognizing your star quality. I love that. I love, love, love that. You recognizing who you are, right? And just shining, just shining in whatever environment you're in. For some people, it is about um, a true thing revealed. This is about you being serene in any environment that you're in, right? But like I said, as far as a lot of you all are concerned, it's about, it's at the heart of, um, why you're kind of in hermit mode is really about your money and your wealth um, and then having some kind of fear that was attached to that. But this is freedom from any of that, freedom of any fear. That's going to be over very, very, very soon, right? You've been investing in yourself. You've really been investing in yourself and now you're starting to see the fruits of your labor where your money is concerned. You've been doing the hard work, right? You've been watering it, whether it's been with your tears or you've been, you, um, but nevertheless, you have been watering your, like I said, the Aquarius is the sustainer of life. You know, you're the water bearer. So you've been watering, you've been taking the time to water your investments and now you're starting to see the fruits of your labor, right? And you have deep roots in that. So you've been studying, you've been putting in all the hard work, you've been doing what it need, what needs to be done. You've gotten to the heart of the matter, right? You've experienced heartbreak and rejection in the past, but you have gotten, and it's not necessarily always in a romantic way, but you have gotten to the heart of the matter. That's what I'm getting for you all. You have gotten to the heart of the matter in this situation. You have a lot of duties and responsibilities and obligations. And so you have to decide whether they're overwhelming or not, but I'm not, get that, I'm not getting that you're overwhelmed. I'm getting that you are like, okay, let me sit back in my hermit mode and reassess some things. Hermit mode is about self um soul searching too. Let me reassess some things, right? Okay. I don't need to be fearful of anything because I'm really blessed and highly favored. I'm really a star and I shine brightest in dark spaces. So for some people, it could be in the workplace, you know, where you just feel like, okay, am I going to get a raise? Am I going to, if, if, is, uh, is money going to be attached to, um, you know, me moving forward? This is about you getting to the heart of the matter, knowing who you are, but again, having all freedom from fear that's coming to an end. Any kind of fear, this is, it's over. It's over for you in terms of any kind of fear as it, as it relates to your money. Okay. No more fear, none whatsoever. You know how to get to the heart of the matter. Oh my goodness. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Look at all these wonderful cards coming out for you all, Aquarius. Okay, we have the temperance card. This is temperance card about you just being cool, calm, and collected. Just being relaxed. And then look at all this. Look at also, let me pull these down for a second. You have the magician card, right? The magician card is about you knowing that you have the power, the intellect, the money, and the wealth, right? So knowing that you're able to tap into all these resources within yourself to get all those things. So that's what I'm saying. All of this is coming to an end real soon. Any freedom, um, any fear of any freedom, you're financially free, right? Also, we have the Empress card, right? So the Empress card is really about a person who is like the Mother Earth, right? Somebody who is um, somebody who's feeling good about life. So just get ready to feel real good about life as far as your money is concerned in all other areas of your life. You've had a lot of willpower and you're winning. This is attached to the cancer, right? So the Empress card is attached to Venus, the planet Venus. This is attached directly to the cancer, the chariot, um, the chariot card is attached to cancer. I want you all to just know beyond all shadows of a doubt that you have been you have been persevering, you have been very diligent, you have a lot of inner drive, and you are victorious because of your willpower. Always a good, good, good thing. You have control over your feelings and your thoughts, and so you're successful, right? And you know how to stick to the right path. These are all win-wins for you. So a lot of you are having some major things coming up for you very, very, very soon right? Your willpower is the thing that got you over the edge. You stuck with it and, and look, wow, great outcome. You also, um, you are very direct now. You know exactly what you want. You're very clear. This is the um, queen of swords. People have no idea what you've been through to where, and, and why you're about to be blessed the way that you are. But all you've always had it in you, Aquarius. You've always had it in it. Just no freedom 
there's no fear of being financially free because now this is where you are financially free like I said getting to the heart of the matter ace of cups <laughs> so you all have a lot of um, creativity this is about beginnings right this is about loving yourself deeper loving yourself deeper the beautiful thing about loving yourself deeper is that it also could um, create a space for new love to come into your life this is cancer Pisces Scorpio this is the ace of cups um, but this time around you know some okay for some of you the the fear of not being financially free was also attached to the love the love portion of your life right and so the fact that you love yourself deeper and harder and the fact that you realize that you were the magician you can manifest whatever lifestyle you want and your willpower you were able to stick to it and just tap into all those wonderful things that you are aquarius is actually what got you to vibrate higher to who you are, your highest self, right? And this loving yourself deeper and harder. So any if, if not because not everybody is interested in, in romantic love, right? Getting into a relationship with somebody. But if you're currently in a relationship, this is your relationship growing stronger and harder and deeper, right? Because as a result of you loving yourself first, deeper and harder, right? Getting to the heart of the matter. Remember your heart chakra. This is about you, um, your heart chakra being in perfect alignment, right? And so naturally people would be attracted to you, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to act on somebody else's attraction of you. You see what I'm saying, Aquarius? But because... Again, money was attached to all of this for you. And so not that Aquariuses are people who go after money, money, money. But I'm just saying there was some kind of a fear with that stability where money was concerned for you all looking at these cards. And so somehow that was atta attached to love, loving yourself deeper and harder, thus accepting new romantic love in your life, if you follow. All right, let's pull an um, let's pull an oracle card again. If you all are interested in a personal reading, my number is two zero two four six zero three two zero five, and I've spoken to so many of you. I literally have spoken spoken to every single astrological sign, and you all are just some fantastic people. And the conversations is always an exchange of wonderful energy. So I just want to thank you all for that. Um, so let's pull an oracle card for you. These are the um, sacred vision oracle cards, by the way. So, like I said, I'm not necessarily getting a feeling that a lot of Aquariuses are interested in a new romantic love. But again, this is about deep loving yourself deeper and just being cool, calm, and collected with this whole process because things are coming. That fear is coming to an end. And you watch. You watch what's going to happen. Just mm. So, some of you are going to get raises if you're working in prayer, the number four, prayer, right? And so petitioning the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court being the most high God in, in your, with yourself, right? The number four, very, very, very powerful in numerology, right? Very powerful in numerology. A lot of times people don't realize how powerful numbers are, um, especially because numbers carry their own vibration, right? And so the number four, it just like 13 is attached to the letter M, right? The letter M, M. M as in mother, um, as in middle, as in meditation, right? Um, the number four is very, very powerful, right? Because this is you being willing to hear messages that are trying to come through to you, right? Having a profound depth in wisdom, this is what you get through prayer and meditation, right? So again, just hold on. It's coming. Just pray and meditate. Like I said, it's attached to the letter M, but just pray and meditate and know that it's going to happen. Some things are going to be moved around. This is also attached to money. This is also attached to millionaire, right? So no more fear. No more fear when it comes to money. No more fear when it comes to wealth, okay? Because it's here. Things are going to happen for you very, very quickly, okay? That's what I have for you. Um, I just need you to um, just continue to pray and meditate and watch how things happen for you. You are delivered from any fear when it comes to your financial, um, financial gain, your financial success. And um, 
in, as in areas of power and intellect, you're good. In areas of money and wealth, you're great. You're already creative. You're already spiritual. So you actually embody the entire package, okay, Aquarius? I just need you to know that, right? That's what I have for you. Bye.